Okay, 21003, write a loop that reads positive integers from standard input, printing out those values that are even, each followed by a space, and terminates when it reads an integer that is not positive. Declare any variables that are needed. Assume the av availability of a variable stdin that references a scanner object associated with standard input. Okay, so code that we would need as the backbone of the loop would be this stuff here that imports the scanner class, creates the scanner object. I believe the best approach for this question, this question is going to print all even numbers entered, ignore all odd numbers until it encounters a zero or a negative, at which point it will stop doing that. So because we want to certainly enter the loop, we want to use a do while loop as opposed to just a while loop. We could do this with just a while loop. You could always do whatever you're doing. Oh, a do while loop is never entirely necessary, but it can be helpful. It can shorten code and make it cleaner. So do means that you're going to do this, certainly, and then you're going to test whether or not you're going to continue looping. With just a while loop, there's a chance that if whatever's here is false, you won't actually enter the loop. But in this case, if with a do while loop, you, you will always do this once, which we'll see here. It will do this. It will terminate once it gets to this false, but but it will do it once. So this is what we want to use for this one. So let's walk through what we need. First, we're going to need to declare the integer. We'll call it number. And, and then we're going to do what? We're going to ask for the number to be set equal to whatever the user wants. Next int will take integers from the user. And then we're going to test if the number is even then we're going to print it plus a space. Now, if you don't understand this, you should dig into it a little bit. All this means is uh, it's this number divided by 2, the remainder of that. So maybe I can enter some things here. 4% four 2 will be 0. In fact, all even numbers, percent 2 will be 0. But, for instance, 8 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 3. So 8% 5 is that 3. So if you don't know about this handy percent thing, uh, you should keep it in mind. It'll be helpful with some exercises you come across. So this is the equivalent of saying if number is even. Print the number plus a space. And so we're going to do this once and then we're going to loop it so long as number is greater than zero, because we want to stop if number is less than zero. We do have a problem, and that is that if we enter a number that's less than zero but is even, then it's going to print the number. For instance, if we say number equals negative 4. Here, I'll run it before I fix it. In the event that we start with a negative 4, we don't want it to print. We want it to kill the loop, but it's going to not kill the loop. It's going to print it and then kill the loop. 
So what we want to do is actually switch these lines so that the first thing we do is test if it is even and then we assign a number to it. But in order to do this we need to set this equal to something. And in fact we need to set it equal to an odd number because we don't want it to be true. We don't want to print out the first value. We only want it to happen after we set it the first time. So this should be the code that we're looking for. But let's give it a go. Okay, what didn't work is I missed that. It helps to stop and rewind. There. Always, it's usually a semicolon. But in this case, it was a curly bracket. So I believe this is the code. But again, let's see. Let's try. So we want even numbers that are positive to print. We want odd numbers to be okay, but not print. That are positive, and then if we enter zero or a negative number, it kills the loop. And that was successful, so it seems it has worked.